Hi guys, this is Cy from Sinai Software. Today I'm talking about Lumi or HDRI wizard. Uh, this is part of our Ignite tool set, so it's in a utility down here. Uh, our HDRI wizard basically does two things. It is a HDRI manager, so it manages your libraries, um, you can add stuff to them, you can import in custom ones, maybe you shot a one-off one, and it also rigs an HDRI depending on the renderer that you're using. So today we're using Corona, and let's just grab an HDRI here and see what we can bring in. Uh, that one looks good. Uh, so what I've got this set to is show in viewport, make me a Corona Sun, and merge in recommended camera settings. So um, this is going to go, it's going to read this HDRI image, it's going to try and figure out the exposure of it, it's going to figure out where the sun and the hot spots are, so it can create um, sort of a helper object so you can see where your sun is, and then merge it into the scene. So right now, uh, we have it into the scene, so it, it, it's created our custom compass, and we'll just make this a little smaller here. Um, and you can just rotate this around, it'll show you exactly where the sun is. And let's just fire out of the box, we're just gonna do a quick render. We'll see what the HDRI wizard sort of guessed for this one. Um, there are some fine adjustments you have. You can remove the sun altogether. You don't need to use a Corona sun. Uh, you can show it in the background. That's just to sort of help you in the beginning when you first bring it in. So that's not too bad. It's a pretty good guess. I like that. Let me just shut this down for a second. Um, so you don't need to show that in the background. That's just to sort of give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, you have light exposure, which has to do with the HDRI, or the, sorry, the Corona sun. So if you remove the sun, this gets blocked out. Um, it's going to actually change some settings around. Um, I'm going to set my shadows a little softer and we'll give this a go. Let me just give this a quick render again. And you also have your f-stops uh, in your camera itself. So you can go ahead and fine tune sort of what you need out of this. You know, we have a little softer shadows. But um, this is supposed to be just really easy for you to manage. Um, Basically, that's it. So I want to jump up. I just want to fire this up again. And now let's say you just have a one-off HDRI image that you shot for that day. It's not part of your library. I'm going to bring this in off my desktop. And I'm going to want all the same setup. And I'm just going to say import this in. Now, all the stuff that it brought in prior to this, it's going to go and remove. Uh, it's going to remove HDRI's out of the slot. It's going to get rid of that camera. Uh, unless you've animated that camera. Uh, it won't touch, it won't break something that you've already created. Um, and then it goes, sets up fresh. So um, we have this other HDRI rig, uh, which is a new one now, and it's, it's readjusted all the settings that it, it guesses that it needs for that HDRI. And we'll give this one a quick render. Um, so basically, like I said, it does two things. So if you already, if your studio has a lot of HDRIs, you'll be able to just set this up so they all show up in the HDRI wizard. Every time you merge one in, um, it will create everything for you. Um, so you don't have to worry about having these preset rigs, um, someone to go in and figure out where the sun is or what sort of exposure it is. Um, it's just supposed to be a very easy tool to use. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you.